that I'm going to be discussing the design of wood over concrete podium structures today, particularly focusing on five stories of wood over a post-tension concrete podium. Start with a quick outline so you know where we're going today. We're going to start with a little bit of background, focusing on some of the more architectural considerations and the code provisions that allow us to build and design podium structures. Then we'll move into the wood structure, talking about fire retardant treatment. After our first break, we'll continue with the wood structure with some considerations for gravity and lateral analysis that are unique to a five-story building. After our second break, we'll move on to the concrete structure, focusing on post-tensioning considerations, uh, particularly the tendon design using the fire rating requirements and the anchorage of the, the wood building to the concrete podium. So what are podium structures? I assume that most of you listening today are familiar with a podium structure, but in particular today we're going to be talking about five stories of wood Usually that upper level, those upper levels are for residential, not always, they could be office space, but today we're going to be focusing on residential. And then the lower portion, the concrete portion, can be one or two stories above or below grade, and that's usually housing, parking, or commercial and retail spaces. A lot of times these are used as urban infill projects where we have a limited footprint and we're trying to get the maximum height out of that space. There are two code provisions that allow for the design and construction of podium structures. The first one is in the IBC. And you'll notice in the upper right-hand corner of some of these slides, I'm including a code reference. That's just so you can go back and read this for yourself. I'm not interested in reading the code to you today, but um, if you have unique conditions or you want to read it for yourself, those references are there for your help. So the first one is a horizontal building separation allowance. And this says that the upper and the lower portions can be considered as separate and distinct buildings as long as you have a three-hour fire rated horizontal separation. And that is our podium level. It needs to have a three-hour fire rating. Anything below that podium needs to be type 1A construction. Anything above that, it doesn't limit the construction type, but it does limit the occupancy. It can be an assembly group A, as long as it's less than 300 occupants. Or it could be occupancy groups B, business, M, mercantile, R, residential, or S, storage. It also says that any penetration through that slab for things like stairs, elevators, ramps, mechanical shafts, things of that nature need to have a two-hour fire rating. The second code allowance is from ASCE 7, the structural provision, that allows us to do a two-stage lateral analysis and design the upper and lower portions separately as long as the stiffness of the upper portion, the wood portion, is not more than 10 times the stiffness of the lower portion. And the period of the entire structure, the wood and the concrete together, cannot be more than 1.1 times the period of just that upper portion. If those two conditions are met, we can design the upper wood portion and the lower concrete portion as two separate structures using their own R and rho values. The idea there is that the wood portion is so flexible relative to the concrete portion that it's not reasonable to assume that the mass of the concrete is going to get pulled up into the wood structure, and the wood structure would then have to resist some of the concrete load. It's essentially like saying the concrete is as stiff as a foundation, and you you can design the wood structure as if it's just sitting on a foundation. Of course, because we have one building sitting on top of another, we obviously need to apply the reactions from the wood portion to the lower portion. And those seismic reactions are scaled by an R over rho ratio of the upper to lower portions, as if the lower portion was 
as if the entire structure was designed as for the R of the lower portion. The upper portion is designed using equivalent lateral force method or modal response spectrum, and the lower portion is analyzed using the equivalent lateral force method.